Greetings everyone, Xanrath here. Welcome back to more Hearthstone. Another week, another Tavern Brawl, and this week, it's Battle of Tol Barad again. Magical creatures are escaping from Tol Barad. Play a minion, get a random spell of the same cost, but for free. So, um, for those of you keeping track at home, I think this last appeared uh, week 26, so it's been like uh, 14 weeks. Um, 10 weeks ago was uh, Battle of the Builds, in case you're curious. Anyways, uh, that aside... Don't remember what I played last time. Probably some, like, handlock variant or, like, something like that. You know, kind of, like, going with the big spells. Um, and, again, I'm kind of going with that, um, if that is the case. Kind of going with a similar strategy, right? Kind of a heavier-ended uh, deck. And this is... I don't know. I have a quest for Priest Paladin. Don't play Priest very much, so I guess I might as well try it out. Don't really know how to build Priest that well, especially this kind of, like, stally kind of deck. Um, I have a lease in there just because I've never played a lease, so might as well try it out. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Um, <clears throat> like uh, like you saw, uh, not very much early game, uh, so I'm not quite sure how this is going to go. It could go pretty pretty well, uh, if I can stall out long enough, um, potentially. Um, otherwise, you know, I could definitely see this particular brawl, um, you can go with, like, a very aggressive, uh, deck. And I don't know if it's, like, crashing or not, but... That's kind of weird. Okay, anyways. Um, but yeah, you can probably go with a pretty aggressive deck. Just get a bunch of like really cheap spells. Um, I was going to say, the next, the other thing I was thinking of was probably Druid. Just because, you know, Ramp Druid uh, with the, your Wild Growths and your uh, and your Innervates and your Thingamabobbers. Um, yeah. Uh, Darnessus Aspirant, right? <clears throat> so, that was the other way I was going to go uh, if I did not have a... Um, Priest Paladin quest to do, uh, so yeah, let's hope this works out, <laughs> to say the least. Like I said, I don't have very much experience playing Priest, <clears throat> and I also have a cough right now. <clears throat> uh, super. Uh, Shade? Nope. Uh, Shredder? Nope. Tazdingo. Okay, so he's playing probably kind of a controly stally kind of deck. Uh, oh, that's cute. That is quite, that is quite, uh, quite nice. Alright. So, um, yeah. This is a great start so far. Um, interesting. I'm very curious what this guy is playing. Huh. Alright, well. Yep. Well, let's see what I get for three. Ooh, that might be better. Think. Still, let's see what we get for three. Fan of knives. Oh, super. Uh, sure, why not? And not the best. Alright, well, he's gonna bop and I don't know, probably wrath it. And save the save the micro machine. <clears throat> and I guess I could drop these two things. What can I get for three and one that's gonna help me in this case? Alright, so he's gonna bop bop. And, uh, what you can get for three mana? Arc Intellect. Okay, that's pretty decent, I suppose. And there's that. If I can make it to turn six, it's possible that, you know... Oh, but what? No, I can't get an Innervate. Innervate's zero mana, right? So, we'll see how, uh, we'll see what we get. Here's that. Anything? I don't think anything... Oh. That is a card. Um, some people might say that. Let's do it. So there's that. And he gets the ties to go back again. That's fine. Uh, Let's freeze this guy. This way he has to trade something. Um, right, if he wants to kill, like, the cleric or something, he has to kill. Or uh, he has to trade his shredder. Or he can wrath it, that's fine too. Or swipe, uh, for that matter. So this guy's uh, running a lot of taunts. Seems. Oh, of course. It's gonna land on the. Nope, not on the shredder. That's kind of weird. Uh, would I just go and put it on the shredder attack face? You know, you're there. Might as well. Okay. Well, now. So this makes things kind of awkward. Um, but I guess we'll go here. Brawl. You know what? Might as well. <laughs> Might as well. I think that's the first. Time I've played Brawl because I don't have Brawl. Um, I was gonna say, probably should have kept the 
uh, the Heckler, but the Sunjin's not bad, I suppose. I think I'm going to do this now. I'm going to start talking about, like, every RNG element as, like, something you can control. So, like, yeah, I'm not sure why I didn't just put the Tinker Oil on the Shredder and just go face. Put me at, what would that have been, 13? Because I have 21.8, yeah. And then, like, Brawl, why didn't he choose the Heckler? That was probably the best one to, to, uh, to have win. Well, so, too bad. Oh, and the, the Sludge Belcher came after the Thingamabobber. Right, the Dark Cultist. That's why I didn't get the uh, the dude, uh, the buff. Right. <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead and if I play this, he's gonna bop, bop, and then kill my hogger. So I guess we'll just go ahead and play this. Um. Uh. Sure. Let's try to save the Emperor. Uh. So force him to swipe, I suppose. <clears throat> We'll also talk about cards, rather, I will also talk about, uh, like, answers as if they're like, guaranteed in hand. Because for the most part, they are, right? If you've ever played Hearthstone, and you're like, oh man, I'm finally coming back, nope. Perfect answers every time. Otherwise, they're just like, otherwise, you, you know the, the, the your opponent is new at the game when they don't have the perfect answer in hand already. When you're, you know, during the optimal uh, moment. <clears throat> I guess Doyle... This kind of sucks. Um, I'm not sure what I do. Because he's getting way too many uh, Dudinskis on the field. Well, that's kind of interesting. I don't think I have a Holy Gnome in this deck, right? I have a Light Bomb. I have an Excavate Evil. I have a Thingy. <clears throat> Alright, let's get out of Innervate. Right? Because there's only... Uh, are there any other Zero Mana cards? There are, I think, right? Prep. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess I could prep and entomb, but I don't want to entomb any of these guys, because they all kind of suck. Uh, I guess I'll throw out the hogger, see what's up. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this guy then. Why not? And... I guess we'll... If I slam into that, I heal it, I can power shield it. Will that be able to protect it? I think so, right? Because this heals, this goes with four, he has four, and I have power shield, yeah, I think. That is fine. Should I heal my face? Or I'm gonna, oh, and I get a little dude from that thing too, so. It's all good. It's all good. Probably should have drawn first. But it doesn't really matter. Should I prep in it? Nah. That's, that's, that's just being dumb. Alright, so, uh, you know, Dr. Boom is pretty good. So we'll see if he uh, is a. <laughs> Veteran, or if he's... Oh, I forgot he's overloaded. <clears throat> but he only gets a three-mana card from that, I think, right? So I guess I can go ahead and tomb that. Got a secret. Mm. Uh, let's test for Counterspell first, I suppose, then. Seems like it's always a solid play to test for Counterspell. Um, unleash the Hounds for two? Okay. Oh, does he... No, he can't kill my Emperor quite yet, so... I guess he could kill the Hogger, though. Nope, he's gonna face. He's watched the... Um, who is it? DJ Carl, the dog, something like that. He knows how to SM Orc. Alright, so... Plays here. Uh, Don't think I quite need to... Mm. Well, that's happening, right? No, whoa, 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 whoa. So let's go ahead and test for a counterspell. There you go. See? Maybe I should have prepped that. Prep wouldn't have really mattered to me too much. Uh, so we'll go ahead and tomb that. And we'll uh, bop into that guy. Guess we can bop into that guy. Um, I think we want to play a little safe. And, oh, that's kind of cute. And, do that. Uh, do I want to just bop into that guy? Oh. Now we'll hold on to that. We'll, we'll hold that. Um, oh, I forgot about Forest Combo. Well, he can't quite... Yet, right, so. Um, do I want to just bop into that? And again, bop, bop. Yeah, I don't really care to draw too many more cards, so we'll just do that. So he... Well, actually, that probably was a bad idea, because he could just go... Boom, boom, right? 
But then he can kill this guy off anyways, regardless. So, boom, boom, kills my... Who did I heal last time? Uh, I help, I healed the Thorazan, so... Uh... I don't know. He could have killed Mahogar. So... I really need some taunts, or, uh, some big heals, cause... Uh, force combo next turn, right? And of course he has it. He should have it, otherwise. Um, oh, that's... Meh. That was a mis... Did he attack with this guy yet? I don't remember. I don't think so. That was a mistake then. Uh, less unfortunate. Alright. So I guess we'll drop this for 6, because I kind of want uh, big money. Or I can heal and light bomb. Is that is that good? Because otherwise he has just this big dude on the on the board. I could divine spirit, heal divine spirit light bomb. Sure, let's do that. I could prep light bomb. That's a thing, right? And we'll throw out the Death Lord because I kind of want to not die to Force Combo right now. Uh, that's fine too. We'll throw out the Shredder. Sure, because why not? And we'll hold the Feral Spirits, I think. Can he clear in any way? I don't think so. Let's not then. Really play around that Force Combo. I mean, am I, am I playing into anything? I don't think so, right? Like he... Well, I guess he could swipe, swipe, innervate, uh... What else would he have? I don't know. But hopefully, hopefully we're okay. We'll see. It's probably something very obvious that I'm missing, that I could just die to, but, eh. Although I think it's kind of funny that we both got Feral Spirits. What did I play for 3 mana? Death Lord. That's right. What did he play for 3 mana? I don't know. So we definitely swung it around. Uh, which is nice. Right? Always like always like it when you win. You're in a good spot. Not even sure if Emperor Thorazan was that good in this deck, but... Yeah. It's been doing... Actually, no, it's bad, right? Because then you're not going to get, like, good mana. Oh, man, that was stupid. But, okay, whatever. I guess it's... You can kind of play the... You can kind of play the, uh... Mana game. We were like, oh, man, I really need, like... I don't know. Something specific. And then... You're like, but it's... But I have this minion that's one mana too much. And then you just play the Thorazan. Next year, you can, I don't know. That's not realistic, I don't think. Um, alright, so, does he have any 10 mana cards to get a, a mind control? I don't think so, so let's go ahead and just throw this sucker out. And, face. Uh, I guess, boom, force, force, still dead to force, yeah, that's not, that's, that was probably a mistake, I should have healed, right? Yes, definitely a mistake. Oh, no force combo? Uh, well, Twisting Nether, though, right? Lay on hands. Oh, interesting. I guess we can go for another prep or a uh, thingy. Uh, innervate. Anything else that costs zero that I'm uh, not thinking of right now? <clears throat> I guess if you're him, you might as well just start bashing into this Death Lord, right, and get minions on the board. Not bad. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> snake trap. One snake. Oh, super. At least he's not getting a spell off of that. Okay. Well, now. <laughs> how, how do I do this? So, kind of... I'm really reluctant to trade in my... Uh... <laughs> I'm really reluctant to trade in... My Shredder, just because. <clears throat> okay, 
So how do I want to do this? I want to. I probably want to get rid of the Death Lord. No, I kind of want to play around Force Combo. But I don't want to keep giving him a bunch of dudes. So maybe that's not the best idea. I don't know. Um. So I need to find... You know what? Don't even care. Doomsayer. Oh, okay, that's somewhat fortunate. Oh, that's not fortunate because I lose a Shredder now. That was bad. Mistake! Uh, we'll do this. And we'll bop into there. I guess we'll heal here. Um, so I lost my Shredder because this guy's taking the place of it. Um, and I did Feral Spirits next, right? So I probably should have just sacked one of these guys. I don't know. That was, that was kind of less than, uh, less than optimal. So I'm losing a Shredder, but that actually might be good because then he can't swipe the Shredder for a Doomsayer. No, I didn't. Did I not lose my Shredder? I lost my, oh, that's right. The first thing that, okay, never mind. That was me. I, for some reason, I thought, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I got the order mixed up in my head that, like, for whatever reason, you go backwards from, like, the last minion that died. No, it's the first minion that died that comes back. So, yeah, that was stupid. Um, bad plays all around on this side of the board. His side of the board? Eh, still doing okay. So, we got boom, boom. And, uh, there's that. Yep. Kind of figured. Oh, that's... Eh, that's... Eh. Eh. I'm just gonna eh a lot. So we're in an awfully precarious situation uh, right about now. I could go for a... Okay. So I guess I'll go for a... What? Do I want a 3 mana, 2 mana, 1 mana spell? What ma one mana spells are there? Power shield, other... Yeah. So I guess we'll go for 3 for... Uh... Maybe I want a two minute spell instead. Maybe I can get like a wrath or something. I don't know. But I want to heal on top of that. So, Ball of Spiders. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So, we'll heal. Throw this dude out there. Um, I guess we can get like a prep. Or an innervate. Circle. Oh, yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's another card. That's zero mana. Um, guess we'll throw a misdirect out there. Because we can't. And then we hit that to heal. Oh, we don't. Because I didn't do damage, right? Because it's a bubble. Hmm. Um, do I just throw out the spiders? Does it, does he punish me in any way? No, he doesn't, I don't think, so might as well. All right. He has a lot of stuff, so kind of curious what uh, he's been holding on to. And he's drawn a lot more cards than me, and that's interesting. Well, I guess I've pulled like three, at least three, maybe four minions with my death lord from him, uh, from his deck. So, he probably has another giant. If he's running the one, he might as well run the other one. He can get a circle prep innervate as well. Tree of Life. Okay, okay. Did he get that off something? Or he's just running that? That's kind of cute, though, I think. He's he's very, very stall. Um, I think that helped me more than it helped him, to be honest. Um, he clearly put that in his deck. He didn't get that off of the, the thing. Um, actually, it's interesting that it doesn't say that it came off of. like It's just like, oh, he has Mustard for Battle in his deck. Just kidding. No, he actually has... Um, what's it called? Um, so he's going to bop, bop. He's going to kill my... Oh, why didn't he kill... Uh, hmm. I don't know. I think killing... The Sea Giant or the Sunwalker would have been better, but, you know, his choice. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? I could just Twisting Nether this board. Do I want to? Is it worth? Eh, not really. Alright, Scarab's pretty decent. Uh, Moonkin, eh, eh, could be better. See what's in the uh, last, the last spider there. Starving buzzard. Is this a beast? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's okay. I don't really want to draw more though. So uh, <laughs> do that. Um, I guess we'll throw this guy out. 
No. Wait. Because he has enough to kill it. Never mind. Uh, let's draw, see what's up. Or not draw, but discover. Let's see what's up. BGH. What else does he have that's huge? Uh, he has the thingy, right? So let's go, the, the sea giant. So let's go ahead and take that. Uh, we'll take the shredder. Throw the shredder in there. Uh, sure, because I kind of want to see what else is in his deck. He's got a forest tank, okay. Guess we'll heal this guy. Oh, I got a quick shot, too. Let's go ahead and just get rid of some of his dudes. Um, because I don't really want it for draw, right? So, um, yep, we're going to hold the Twisting Nether as a backup, just in case something really wrong happens. Very well could happen. So he has another Sea Giant, I'm pretty sure. I'm guessing he has a, I mean, he has a Forest Tank, maybe two. Because he's playing that kind of Druid deck. Um, so that came out of his deck, right? So he either drew it, or it's still in his deck. Um, I can BGH that. Probably would rather BGH this than the Sea Giant, because I have to go through the shield too. But at this point, you know, I can pop the shield and easily just... Yeah, so it's not, not a huge deal right now. Um, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that Tree of Life... Actually, I don't know. Did he play anything that was 9 mana? No, he didn't, right? And it... Wait. I forgot to see if it cost mana or not. I'm pretty sure it... Did he play anything for 9 mana? And then did he... Was it free? Did he do anything after that? No, I think he just... Hmm. Really don't know. Alright. So. Uh... Oh. Four. Why didn't he hit the Shredder then? That's kind of weird. Eh. It's whatever. Probably don't want to play that quite yet. Um... What do I think this is? Could it be... Uh... Misdirect? Freezing, all that stuff. Freezing, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, that kind of actually helps me, in a sense, right? Because you get a 4-mana thingy now. Oh, that's... okay. Uh, I guess I'll keep this guy healthy, I suppose. We'll bop into that. Um, we'll smack into that and heal it, because we can. Uh, I'll go face. Um, unless he has like a cold light or something that makes me draw, I don't think it's really a big deal. Ah, let's do it. It's free. I like that fisting animation. It's good stuff. Alright, we'll hold. No need to overcommit. Right, because he's played his Twisting Nether. But what are the big spells that he's gotten? He's played two Iron Barks. Now he has a Force Tank, so he does. he has the potential to get another Twisting Nether. Which is why I don't want to overcommit right now. <clears throat> what else would he have? Um, what else is 8 mana as a spell? Not just only twisting another hand. So there's that. It's all good. Tiny Knight of Evil. Oh man, I could have, if I didn't do that, I could have buffed this dude. Or actually, no. No, Fist of Draxis isn't discarding. It's when something, if it is discarded, it's free or something like that. I can't remember what it was. Uh, when you play or discard deal. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Alright, so he killed my dude. That kind of sucks. Alright, so his last big... I think he probably runs another giant or another um, uh, thingy. So, let's go ahead and just throw that guy out there. See what's up. Lava Burst, okay. Throw this guy out there, because it's 5 mana. See what's up. Okay. And we'll heal. We'll call that good. Call that good. That's a lot of damage. Except that's the minion, right? So, oh, never mind. Uh, chat says it's... it's uh, what it can it can it it deals five damage it can go to face or it should go to face. So uh, I guess we have uh, six and then ten, right? Nope, just kidding. Oh, he's gonna hit. So never mind. Still not lethal. 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 Even if this was uh, the face, is that going to my face or is that going to here? Nope, that's fine. Um. Well, I guess it could have been if it was with my jungle kin. So. And my Azure Drake, so, yep, Miss Lethal, all that good stuff. Well, not really Miss Lethal, but, yeah. Alright, I guess we'll pop into that, hit that guy, or hit that guy, heal it. So we'll play this, hit that guy, heal it. Oh, another one, that's cool. Uh, oop, gotta do this first. Get the most out of that heal. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't really want to give him spell power right now, so we'll hold. We'll play 
I guess I'll drop both these guys and just lava burst them and fist them. Uh, oh. Yeah, I really hope I get to fist them next turn. That'd be stellar. Um, take it as you will. But someone's getting fisted. Hopefully someone's getting fisted. Uh, depends on how many things he plays, because I, otherwise it could randomly not hit him in the face. If I was a good player, I would just, you know, point it at his face, right? Take the RNG out of it. But, alas, not that good. So, potentially, at least. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, wait, I can just... Yeah, okay, hold on. So this is three, so that goes to eight, and that goes to seven. That is one off lethal, right? Three... Uh, that goes to 8, and that goes to 7. Less than fortunate. Oh! That's lethal! Right? No. I'm... Oh, because... Okay, hold on. 4 mana. Okay, that's 2. That goes to 7. That goes to 6. That's 13. And that goes to 4. That's 4. That's uh, Yeah, that's lethal, right? Alright, so... And a free swipe. Um... So we go, hold up, hold up, can I swipe my dude? No. So we swipe face, we Bane for nothing, we Lava Burst my dude, we heal it, and then we fist him for the win. Fisted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, man, that was a long episode. But I think that's good. I I mean, like, for brawls that you've seen before, uh, it's always nice to kind of see... I, well, at least, I think it's kind of nice to see longer matches just because it's like, you know, you know kind of what's going on. You just want to see the crazy stuff happen, right? And so there are a lot of... Uh, there are a lot of Twisting Nethers. I mean, how many spells cost 8 mana? I should look that up. Let's do that. Let's explore uh, for a moment. My limited uh, card pool. So, I guess we can go into crafting mode. Lay, of, lay on hands, right? That was the other one that we saw. Lay on hands. Twisting Nether. I guess that's all of them. So eight mana is only twisting nether or lay on hands. So for the majority majority of them we saw um uh twisting nether. Right? I had one in hand, never used it, all that jazz. So yeah, that was fun, right? I played at least, didn't I? I yeah I did. I never drew the the map. And I had like what, six cards ish? Less than ten for sure, but yeah. Anyways, that was uh I mean it wasn't super eventful, but there were some good moments in there, especially at the end. The end was, I think, spectacular. Uh, not necessarily because, like, oh, you know, oh, he did, like, 20-something damage to him in one turn and all that stuff, and, you know, never lucky. Uh, but just because, you know, the fist. Yeah. If nothing else, the fist. All right, so that's it for this week. Um, <laughs> best ending ever, I think, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's it for this week. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.